Now this patient is in left lateral decubitus posture and uh, the probe uh, is placed subcostally over here and then angled almost 6, 40, 30 to 40 degrees to get the view that I am going to show you that of the normal anatomy, uh, normal vascular and the visceral anatomy. This is the uh, say approximately with the uh, subcostal region it's making an angle of approximately 40 to 50 degrees rather. And now let's see what we are getting. Uh, I am able to maneuvering is required. Now you see that uh, this is the liver, the left lobe of the liver. This is the, uh, uh, sorry, this is the uh, right lobe of the liver. This is the gallbladder. This is the portal vein. This is the <coughs> IVC, inferior vena cava, a longitudinal section. This is the aorta and this tiny cysticaria is the right renal artery in transfer section. So in this section we are getting the gallbladder, the portal vein at the neck of the, uh, making at the right angle to the neck of the gallbladder, the IVC, the aorta and the right renal artery. So in thin being patient, try to study the uh, normal as much as you can to be perfect to find the pathologies. Unless you know the normal, it will be difficult to uh, grasp the variation from the normal. So you see this is the normal vascular anatomy showing you once again repeating the gallbladder, the portal vein, the IVC, both the curve, the right venal artery, and the aorta. As you see, when I give a sweep to the proof, the same artery that you are seeing in transfer section the right renal artery is seen entering the hilum, uh, originating from the uh, hilum of the right kidney in transfer section. This is the right kidney in transfer section and this is the renal, right renal artery emanating from the kidney. This is the IVC. This was the region focus over this region and I'm going to give up a 90 degree sweep to the probe to see if this vessel enters the, yeah, you can see that this vessel enters the, uh, uh, sorry, emanates from the hilum of the right kidney. Thank you.